Welcome MP Garnett Genius, MP of Sherwood Park, Alberta. Welcome in Oxygen Talk Show. Great to be with you. Thanks for the opportunity. Thank you for your time, Garnett. Uh, actually, I would like to ask you two questions regarding the illegal border crossing. Um, I would like to know from you the impact of illegal border crossing from U.S. to Canada, especially Alberta, and the increasing concerns of the unexpected number that may reach over 60,000 asylums by the end of year 2018? Well, these are, these are important questions, and I, I would identify three impacts, the cost impact, the security impact, and the impact on legitimate legal immigrants who are trying to come into Canada through the, through the proper way. In terms of cost, there's big costs associated with the processing of these applicants as well as all kinds of service demands, in some cases extra services that are, that are paid to refugee claimants. So that's a, a big cost in terms of the tax increases people are seeing across the board. Uh, on the security side, there's, there's major concerns about how uh, unsavory groups may be trying to use the, uh, the vulnerability at the border for people to come into Canada who shouldn't be coming in. So that's a, an impact that we need to be concerned about and aware of. And then many people in uh, and immigrant communities are, are telling me that they're concerned about how uh, they may have family members that they're trying to sponsor to come to Canada. Uh, there may be legitimate refugees from other parts of the world who are in camps who are trying to get to Canada, uh, and they are now uh, negatively impacted by the fact that these illegal border crossers are jumping the line. They're coming into Canada from a safe country, the United States, and yet they're jumping the queue for that for people that may be actually coming from more dangerous countries in other parts of the world. Oh, great. Um, I have a quote from the Globe and Mail that mentioned on its online version, April 17th, the rule of law no longer exists, pointing out to the very high approval rate of the legal asylums. Do you think the current immigration laws are sufficient or we need to issue new ones? Well, we have certain tools under the existing uh, immigration laws, and uh, we've called on the government to have a plan to use the, the, the tools that they have. Uh, we've presented a number of different ideas, uh, you know, of course, uh, dialogue with the Americans, uh, also uh, designating the entire border a, a, a crossing point for the purposes of the uh, safe third country agreement. So we've presented constructive proposals that can be done within the context of the existing laws. Uh, unfortunately, the Liberal government uh, isn't taking this issue seriously. Uh, they're not taking the costs and the risks of it seriously, uh, and they want to just resort to name-calling every time uh, the opposition raises this legitimate issue. So uh, there are things that can be done in, under our existing immigration laws, but unfortunately the government just right now does not have a, a will to deal with this problem and the, the proper way that it needs to be dealt with it. So there is a good effective laws, but not uh, it need to be uh, uh, activated, as we say. Um, thank you very much, uh, Garnett. Thank you for your time. Thank you for that, and wish you good luck uh, for your next campaign. Thank you very much. Appreciate the opportunity, and, and my very best to you and, and your community. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.